morning. Good morning. So uh, today we're still in India. We're, we're definitely still in India. Day two. We're going to start our day off at the India Gate, but there's two problems here. One of which is closed. Two to get over the road, we have to cross this. So no, you can see it from here. We're not risking our lives to get over there, but it looks beautiful. What is the India Gate? The India Gate is. It commemorates 80,000 troops that were that died during the First World War. It's actually got 13,000 inscribed names, some British troops as well, on the wall itself. And in the middle, you'll see it's called the Eternal Flame. It's an upside down helmet, and it's just to commemorate and thank all of the troops that died in the First World War. Lovely. Thank you, India. Thank you, India. So. This is not the video, we're not showing you India Gate. What we're actually going to be doing is... To... I'm Elise, this is Lawrence, and this is our baby night. We're travelling the world. But we're going to be doing things a bit differently. We're going to be travelling a month. And coming back to the UK and working a month. So we're going to be travelling month on, month off. Until this little one goes to school in a couple of years. We want to see if it's actually possible to travel the world with a toddler in tow. So subscribe and come along for the journey. This is not the video, we're not showing you India Gate. What we're actually going to be doing is telling you some top tips because we've been in now for 72 hours. Yes. Some of these tips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> some of these tips have saved our asses. Yes. What's tip number one? So at India Gate, we're going to tell you tip number one. To quote 50 Cent, if I had a best friend, it would be this hand sanitizer. Don't just get your normal hand sanitizer, get this. This is a hospital grade. Bacteria and viruses. And because of the C word's been lurking about, you can get that anywhere at the minute. Yeah. Um, but this is an absolute must, especially if you've got a little one. Yes. He because touches everything. Everything. I love India, but India is pretty dirty. And Nai touches everything at all times and then puts his hands in his mouth. This, you need it. You need it, you need it, you need it. I've never seen Lawrence worried about germs ever, but this trip is a first. Tip number two by India Gate. Get yourself some Indian cotton garments. So yesterday we went and bought some because I spent the first two days absolutely sweating like anything. I was wearing big baggy t-shirts, like baggy um, trousers or leggings I wore on the first day. I can't explain to you how hot I was. I know I like to exaggerate sometimes, but I am 87.5% cooler in my Indian outfit and it costs £4.50 so tip number two go and get some cotton or linen outfits tip number three is going to come to you away from the beats and away from the armed guards so see you in a minute oh hey, mama yeah? mama no no juicy no, no, no juicy. juicy okay yeah. So now you're used to the loud sounds of India as we were stood next to that road. Number three is get yourself an Indian SIM card. We got one at the airport. It costs £4.50 for a month with 1.5 gigabytes of internet every day. And not just for the phone because you're probably not going to make that many friends that you need an Indian phone number. But it's for data for maps. If you need to book Ubers, that's what you need the data for. We've just come to Loddy Gardens and it's really nice here. We're being careful of the cobras. No, no, can you say number four? Number four. Number four. The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. The dinosaurs. Where? Ah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, can you say Uber? Uber. Download Uber. In Delhi. A big yes. <laughs> there aren't dinosaurs in there, but if you download it in Delhi, you can get wherever you want in an Uber. And it's about one pound forty for a small journey. It's very cheap. Um, they will ring you sometimes and check whether they want to do the journey, and they might cancel it. And you can also get rickshaws on it. So, which is absolutely mind blowing. Mental. And the rickshaws, the Uber rickshaws, are literally less than half the price. So we got one the other day. It would have been about one pound fifty for a journey, and it was about fifty p. 
Where's the dinosaurs? Come on, Where's the dinosaurs? Come on, Where are they? I think I heard a pterodactyl. Wow. I think I heard a pterodactyl. Whoa! Do you need your hat on to find the dinosaurs? Hi, nice. You've got your dinosaur hat on now. Yeah. Where's the dinosaur? Don't go too close. Oh. Anyone local? What are they? Are they chipmunks? They look like chipmunks. Not like Alvin, but they look like chipmunks. That was a really bad mum joke, wasn't it? Local girl band in the making. You saw it here first. Or TikTokers. Yeah. Imagine if we just witnessed the next Spice Girls of India practicing in the park for the first time. Tip number five, but I probably put this before a SIM card. <laughs> Definitely before a SIM card. Definitely take a roll of toilet paper in your bag day to day because if you do need to go and you find a toilet 99% of the time there's not going to be any toilet roll in there yeah take toilet roll I do have a bum gun in most places but you need some toilet roll tip number six is for all the parents out there with little babies like this one um, there isn't anywhere to change children so you need to bring a changing mat but you're not going to want to put the changing mat anywhere near your stuff yeah, if it's been on the, the toilet floor, I'll be honest. So maybe disposable changing mats. That's the tip. That's the or tip. a bag to put it yeah, in. And mind you, this is not just India. We were in Croatia. Yeah, they same. have the same. Apparently, kids. So it's uh, maybe an overall travel tip to make sure you get some disposable. Disposable, uh, yes. What are they called? Changing mats. Changing mats. You get them from Boots. Yeah, you see. Okay, yeah, we will. Okay, it's fine. Is it Lawrence? Do you care to explain? It's a monkey. How do you feel about monkeys? Not my best friend, I'll be honest. Look at the balls on it. The testicles. He's playing it cool, but he definitely just said that's like the one that ripped that man's scalp off. <laughs> that wasn't funny that he ripped his scalp off, by the way. I'm just going to show you that sign because here in India um, the culture is a lot of people spit on the floor so if you're from like a western country you might see that and think oh not sure about that but it is part of the culture here I think they're trying to stop it because there's signs up everywhere saying don't spit but imagine because of COVID. Number seven. Number seven. Something that I accidentally did <laughs> this morning I was really upset. Don't brush your teeth in the tap water just be careful when you have showers or baths that you're not getting it in your mouth the water here is not clean so use bottled water brush your teeth get the gnashes sparkling put some evian yeah keep a keep a bottle by the sink yeah so you don't run out because sometimes you get back to the thing you forget to pick up some bottled water just always keep a full one by the sink no problems but yeah definitely recommend it high on the list keep you guys safe probably before a sim card again <laughs> We've lost count. tip number eight or nine i can't remember which tip we're on this is about the roads now as you well know They're roads in delhi are crazy chaos insanity but it works for some weird reason you get to a roundabout everyone filters in and filters out no one stops which is why they use their horn it's not to like in the west we bib our horn as an aggression. It's not for aggression. Actually, a horn's for to make people aware that you're there. So they're using it properly. So that's why there's so many horns, because they're letting people know, right, I'm next to you, I'm behind you. I'm... And they're just amazing. You see their eyes, they, they, they know what they're doing. So if you want to cross a busy road and you can't see an opening, you just go move slowly with eye contact with the car or the rickshaw, they won't hit you. Okay. You will feel like you're going to die. You will. <laughs> so 
it's another monkey. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's the way out there. And they're a monkey. <laughs> oh look, what's that? Look at this. Wow. Lion King looking thing. Wow, you see the big birdie? Wow. Number nine, again if Sorry, you Sorry, can I just say, oh. these buildings in these gardens are incredible. Yeah, they are. Look at them. Wow. Anyway, sorry. Number nine. Number um, nine. If you've got a ch child, if you haven't got a child, don't take one. But if you have got a child, <laughs> take a baby carrier because baby carrier is essential. Yeah. When we were in Old Delhi, there's we no been able way. To do it. There's no way you would have been able to take a pram. I could barely walk with a baby carrier on. I could barely walk with my shoes on. Never mind a pram. Like there is no room yeah. at all. Number ten. And this, I would say, is most important. It should be number one. Yes, it should be, actually. Your attitude will dictate how your day goes. Yes. So, you have to come out with a positive attitude. There are going to be people that are hassling you for, to sell things, for money, for yeah. touting, you want a rickshaw, all day, every day. And when we say hassle, like 25 times over the same person, times okay. by many people. A bit dramatic, but yes, they'll hassle you. No. So what you've got to do is have a positive attitude, a positive mindset, smile. Uh, we've seen a couple of tourists, not many to be fair, we've probably seen about 10 tourists the whole time we've been here, but they look very uptight and no, they don't want to smile because they don't want to invite unnecessary. You've just got to smile and just walk past. You can even ignore them. If you don't want to even speak to them, you just ignore them, say nay or jay or just say no, just keep walking. But keep a smile on your face and don't let it get you down because it can be tiring. You've just got to have a positive attitude when you're in Delhi. Obviously, this is not just Delhi. Different parts are a lot quieter, but Delhi can be very, very intense. It's the attitude that counts. What would you say? Yeah, it's true. <laughs> <laughs> How no, do you find it? The hassling can get a little bit much, but I think also the thing that really upset us is you see all the kids begging. Yeah, and it's difficult. You have to obviously... You can't give them money because it perpetuates the problem. The more you give, the more they're going to hassle you. And in the bigger picture, if people are getting money in the city, more people are going to come and beg. So people don't want you to give them money because it doesn't help with the whole situation. You've got to look at it at a macro level. Yeah. It's hard to see that. But it's really hard to see, especially when we're up, we've got Nye there and he's sat there in an absolute place of privilege yeah it's and tough. it's really it's really really tough but we love India this is 72 hours in these are our tips yeah. just for opening what, what we've done and what we wish we'd done and what we've changed have an amazing time we are and please like share and subscribe um, because we're gonna there's gonna be a lot of videos in India we're here yeah. for five weeks guys a lot of people are very impressed by Lawrence's Hindi so I'm gonna ask him how we say goodbye Fir Malenge. Fia Malenge. Oh, something just landed on my hand. Fia Malenge. <laughs> no, nice. Can you say, can you say Fia Malenge? Yeah. Yeah. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs. Dinosaurs.